One of the darkest things about Avatar that never gets talked about is the events that had taken place on the day of Sozin's Comet. We had a few scenes here and there in Avatar, but nothing really in depth on what really happened. And that is exactly why I am bringing you guys the tale of Tashi and Nima. This is a webcomic that covers the events of Sozin's Comet, but in much, much more detail. The story starts off with us getting a closer look on what life is like in the Air Nation. We have this instructor teaching his class a new air bending move. Now, all of the kids are having a problem learning this move except for one, and his name is Tashi. He is one of our main protagonists in this story. Tashi ends up demonstrating this move without any troubles at all. Our second protagonist, Nima, isn't really grasping the move. He ends up expressing to the elder monk that Tashi should not be placed on this pedestal, and the elder monk should be teaching this class and not Tashi. The elder monk ends up giving him the old Uncle Iroh and tells him that his pride and jealousy is holding him back from progressing his air bending skills. Nima ends up trying to move again, but ends up knocking himself unconscious. When he wakes up, he ends up questioning why he was born into this culture. He goes on to say there's no guarantee he can even get his air bending tattoos, and that he needs to get out of here. Wink wink. Nima goes on a rant about the expectations of air nomad society. I just want to take a moment here to point out how pretty the art is in this comic. When Nima finally gets home and he packs his bags to leave, he notices that his lemur is acting strange. His lemur is worried and clinging on to him way more than usual. On the very next page when he's trying to leave, we see the sky turn red. We get told that this is the fire comet and they'll never see something like this in their lifetime again. We get this scene of all the kids trying to guess what the comet is. Some think it's a spirit, others think it's an ancient phoenix, and some just know it's a space rock. Tashi and another airbender decide to go get a closer look at the comet, so they end up flying onto this building. Tashi's friend ends up spotting something in the distance, and on the very next page, it's a combustion combustion bender and a dragon. Now this is where everything goes down. The combustion bender ends up shooting at Tashi and his friend. The temple's on fire and everybody's freaking out. The elder monks are trying to figure out what's happening. As fire rains down from the dragons, people are running away. They're crying. They don't know what to do. The elders are trying to fight back while evacuating the temple. One thing that I find interesting here is that they knew Fire Lord Sozin was making threats towards them, but they had nothing planned and they had no idea that the comet would enhance their firebending ability? Like, hello? The elder monk ends up getting hurt in battle. He blows away many Fire Nation men and tells Nima that he needs to get out of here. Nima runs off to find a safe place to get out of here, but as he's running, he sees many people hurt. He sees an air nomad that was stuck under some wood that fell from a house, but just like Aaron Yeager, he just couldn't move it and was forced to leave him behind. We have this monk here who thinks he's helping out by telling all these kids to stay together, but what do you know, a blast from a combustion bender just ruins all of his plans. Nima ends up flying off and we get this aerial view of everything that's going down, but all of a sudden he gets blown out of the sky. As he lands, he runs into Tashi and he tells Tashi, I know things don't make sense right now, but we're gonna get out of here. They end up coming up with the plan to use the move that they learned in class so that they could make a pathway to escape. But unfortunately, that is where the story ends as of right now. If you guys want me to cover this story when future updates come out, please let me know. Remember guys, I always leave out major plot details so you guys can still read the story for yourselves after watching this video. As always, the links will be in the description down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.